Thanks for watching. Trader Bisolo USA live from Minnesota. Command Center. Um, what I have here today for you is a power supply. Output over voltage protection. Over current protection. Short circuit protection. Over output surge protection. This uh, power supply can take an input of 100 to 240 volt AC with a frequency of 50, 60 hertz, which means you can take um, American and international as well. The output is going to be an LED indication. This one is basically uh, set up for a CCTV camera with a closed circuit television. So electronics equipment, but I have two uh, uh, um, um, reasons why or two options I'm going to be utilizing this box for. First of all, you, you, you see exactly what I was saying here, security and efficiency and uh, for security cameras. And uh, second option is going to be for um, AC to DC because I want to use um, uh, DC bulbs, a 12 volt system. And this one can give you a 12 volt output. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I, th I suppose it's about 16 channels. Let's open it up and see what it is. It's a nice box. All right, guys. Um, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'll really appreciate if you sub subscribe, like, and share. And this is what we have here. This is how the box looks like. This is the LED indication right here that um, gives you um, illuminate to tell you that this box is powered. And the only thing that doesn't come with this guy um, is the um, the power cord. Power cord comes right here. From um, they don't want to use any uh, cord indication or they want to install any wire here because you want to use it for international or uh, for the U.S. So what I've done is uh, is uh, 18 channels here. So you can have, I have some cameras that um, you can able to utilize, which are uh, BNC connectors. So you have to send a video on a coaxial and a red and white cable, which is the positive negative for DC. And each fuse is, a, uh, is an amp, okay? It's an amp. We'll say one amp is an amp. So guys, uh, See, it's a positive negative. Any one you, um, you, you tie it into is going to be an illumination here. These green bulbs, each of them is going to illuminate. So there's a fuse line here. So if anything happens, the fuse is going to blow and is, you're going to lose or lose that channel. And the good thing again, um, they have here is they have a, um, a, a, a strain relief or for your wires to come through. You can able to pass your wires here directly on the side. You can set this box um, upside down. And this box can give you 12 volts, 30 amps total. All these uh, 18 channels. This is a good thing about it. It just reminds me of the Mix Sky Blue uh, 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 stuff. Um, charge controller for the solar. That's how it looks like. So this is the LED right here I was talking about. It goes right in this uh, black stuff right here. It fits right there okay for some reason I think um, it needs to pop I don't want to break it I think I have to put a little um, um, stuff there um, see that's the bulb it shows right there so maybe a little glue or something that holds it so guys um, here goes the extras there there's no extra fuse but I have the keys here and um, it's gonna be mounted on the wall like this, you can see the holes on the top right there. And um, it has some knockouts on the sides as well. So the knockouts, they already set them up here with a rubber um, thing that makes it not to uh, rub. And this is the connection right here. It's set up for the output that comes to the motherboard. Okay, so different wires for different functions they set them some of them the fuse lines, some of them for the cameras, and other ones here for the AC input. All right. Um, smell like electronic, but uh, <laughs> kind of a little bit funny smell. I'm kind of curious about 
this is uh, power supplies here. It is a built-in fan on and off. So that's a good thing again. But the enclosure here, if you get this one locked here, I don't know how the air is going to circulate in here properly. Well, anyway, um, there's a on and off switch right here. There's an on and off switch. So at least um, you can able to um, um, turn on and off before you power your devices so anyway guys this is what i have for you live at the command center of the jw solo usa this is for um um for the dc lights for some projects i'm working on <clears throat> some people say i understand exactly what they're gonna say um why are you going ac to dc is a loss of power the conversion so from high voltage to you know to dc just like using a dc step down dc to dc or dc converter from maybe uh, 48 volt to 12 volt it's going to be almost the same the only thing i'm utilizing high power here that comes in up to about 240 volt if i want to and it gives out only um the 12 volt so this is a smatic right here if you want to see I'll bring it closer for you guys to see for CC cameras and different functionalities you can able to utilize. So I'm going down slowly. So you can see a voltage of 120 volt to 220. So, so if you put a wrong voltage, they say it's gonna ruin the machine. <laughs> Which will broken the machine. That's a Chinese translation. It will be broken the machine. So. All right. So. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this guy. And that's a latch right here. So. Locks. Looks a nice decent box. And um, it's going to be like a control panel. For my it's gonna be for lights you know rope lights Christmas lights so it depends what I want to power with this but I want to power my DC light like RV lights so that's what I want to do on my um, where I'm gonna utilize it you guys will know soon um, as the time comes all right take care and uh, like and subscribe JW solo USA this is the box and you will see future videos on this soon. Bye for now.